Hi, I'm John from Chatomize, and in this video, I will show you how you can create a Shopify chatbot without writing a single line of code. And in this video, I will show you how you can use a Shopify chatbot to automate your customer support and to get more sales with your online store. So without further ado, let's dive in. To create our Shopify chatbot, we are going to use Tidio. And Tidio is a chatbot platform that we can use to create our chatbot in a matter of minutes. And we can use Tidio to get more sales and to automate our customer support of our Shopify website. So what we need to do is we need to go to chatomize.com slash Tidio. And if you use this link, and I will also add the link in the description, you will get 20% off of Tidio's premium plan. And if you go with annual billing, you will also get two months for free. And the only thing that you need to do is just click on grab the deal. And normally, if you click on this, this will bring you to a sign up form. But because I already have a Tidio account, I will directly go to the Tidio dashboard. So once you are logged in with Tidio, you need to go to chatbots here on the left hand side. And then you already see that Tidio has a lot of templates that you can use to get started right away. So for example, when I click on product recommendation, I can just see a preview of this template. And when I click on use template, this template will directly install on my Tidio account. But in this video, I want to show you how it works if we create an automation from scratch. So we're not going to use a template, but we are going to create it ourselves. So if we go here and we scroll above, then we can click on add from scratch. And then here we can determine our trigger. So we're first going to start with automating our customer support. So I will just name this chatbot customer support. And then the trigger is the event that will activate our chatbot. And in this case, we want to activate our chatbot every time they come to the contact page. So we're going to click here on visitor opens a specific page. And then if we click on that, we can actually determine the URL uh, that the user is visiting. So when I go to Shopify and I just created a really simple Shopify test website with one order and one product. But when I click on view your online store, and I go to my contact page, we can just copy this URL and then we can click on exact address and we can paste it over here. And then the trigger limitation is by default set to send once per 24 hours, but I will set it to unlimited. So every time a user comes to the contact page, then our chatbot is activated. And then the first step of our chatbot will be the disable text input. And by disabling the text input, we actually make sure that people cannot just type in anything they want. They actually need to choose one of the buttons that we provide. And this is a great feature of Tidio, and we can actually make sure that the users inside our Shopify chatbot are staying inside our chatbot flow and are just not asking any question that they want because our chatbot is not optimized for that. So we're going to disable the text input and then we are going to add another action, which will be the decision quick replies. And here we are going to say something like, hi, I'm the chatbot of e-commerce company XYZ. What is your question about? So we're going to connect these to each other. And then here we are going to say, and we'll just copy this, this text from my second screen. We say, I'm the digital assistant of e-commerce company XYZ. What is your question about? And then here I will say return policy, and I will say order status. So when somebody is asking something about the return policy, we will just give them a default answer. And when somebody is asking something about their order status, we are going to actually ask for their email address or for their order number. And that is directly integrated with Shopify. So the next step that we need to do is we need to send a chat message. And the chat message is connected to the return policy uh, button. And then here we can say something like, you can return your order within 30 days. If you want to know more about a return policy, follow this link. And this will just be the link to your return policy. So that's the one. And, and that's pretty simple, basically. And the other one will be the order status. So here we have an, an action, which is the check order status. So we can add that. And then we can connect the other button, the order status button, to this block. And here we need to connect 
RTDO account to Shopify. So we can just click on integrate with Shopify and then we need to put in our URL of our store. So here I have chatomizetest.myshopify.com so it will be Chatomize test. Click on integrate with Shopify. Click on install app. And now the integration is done. So we can just close this window and then if we go back it is correctly integrated and this is by default set for the English language but if you click on set translations you can actually determine uh, your own text for this integration uh, and you can also determine another language so for example let's say you're Spanish then it will be the Spanish language uh, for now I'll just go with English but just know that that option is there so I would just click on save here and that will be it so now we have a very simple flow so every time a user comes to our contact page, it will disable the text input and it will say, Hi, I'm the digital assistant of e commerce company XYZ. What is your question about? And then, if they choose for return policy, then we will send them this message. And if they choose for order status, uh, then we have a direct integration with our Shopify web shop. So, what we can do now is we can just click on test it out and then it will open up another uh, window here. And we can test it out right here. So let's say we're going with return policy. Then it says you can return your order within 30 days like you would expect. And then if I close this window and I click again on test it out, then we can choose for the other option. So in this case, we will go with order status. And then it will say, let's start checking the status of your order. Do you have an email or order ID I can use for that? So I will go with my email address. So what is my email address? It is info at chatomize.com and enter my postal code. So this is the postal code of my order. And then it says, hmm, it looks like we're having some delay here. Your order hasn't been sent yet. Our staff will contact you within the next couple of minutes. In the meantime, tell us how we can help you. And this is actually really great because if I go to the order, you will also see that it is not fulfilled yet. So we haven't done anything with the order, it's just ordered by someone, but it is not sent, it is not shipped. So this is actually a really good response that we're getting here. So the integration is working. And also if we go to Tidio and we go to our inbox, I would just click on, I would just open that in a new tab, otherwise we would lose our chatbot here. And we go to unassigned then here you will see the complete conversation and then one of your customer support agents can actually join that conversation. So I can say, hey there, uh, do you need any help? And then a user that is using your chatbot can just also reply to that. Yes, I need help with my order. And then here you can have like a back and forward conversation about someone's order within Tidio. So this is actually a great feature that you can use. So that's how we can use Tidio to automate our customer support. And the next step is to actually add this Tidio chatbot to our website. And it's exactly what we're going to do. So if we go back, what we can do here is we can click on save and activate and the name of our chatbot is customer support. And we are going to solve problems with it and click on continue. And in here it's automatically activated. So that is working. So now that we want to add it to our website, we're going to settings and then here we have installation. And as you can see here, we actually have two options. We have the JavaScript option and the Shopify option. And in general, I prefer going with the JavaScript option because I have noticed that if you're using the Shopify connection, it is not always working correctly. So in general, I just recommend just try out the Shopify option. Is If that is not working, which could be the case, then just go with the JavaScript option. If the Shopify option is working, it's just one click. If it's not working, then just go with the JavaScript option. It's a bit more advanced, but it will always work. So we can just copy this code snippet. So you can click here on copy to clipboard. And then if you go to your Shopify website, you go to online store and click on Teams here. Then if you click on those three dots over here, you can click on edit code. And if you don't have any experience with editing code on your Shopify web shop, I highly recommend hiring a developer to do this. But in case you do have any experience, you can just go to team.liquid 
Then if you scroll down to the bottom, then what you need to do is paste that code over here just before the body tag. So when you see here the closing body tag, just before that you need to paste the code from Tidio and then click on save. And then if we go to our website, you will automatically see that we see here the Tidio option and it will say, hi, I'm the digital assistant of e-commerce company XYZ. What is your question about? And again, we can choose for order status. We can go with the email address. I will just type it in so you will see that this is working. Postal code. And it will get a response. So that is working. And we can actually customize this widget to our own branding and to the design of our website. So if we go back to Tidio and we go to settings here, and then we have the appearance. So here we can determine the background color, so you can just set it to any color that you want. You can set your online status, you can determine whether you want to see it on the left or on the right. Uh, you can adjust the button label, so it by default will be chat with us, but it could be anything else, or you can just disable the button label. You can enable or disable the widget sounds, like anything you can do with that. You can also hide the widget, so you can install it on your website, but just don't show it. Uh, could be the case that you're using Tidio for just one campaign, then this is a really useful feature, but for now I will just display it. And we have all these kinds of things that you can set up. So you can have a pre-chat survey, so then every time someone starts talking with your chatbot, they need to fill in their name and they need to fill in their email address. It's, you can do something like that. Uh, you can have a different mobile widget, you can have routing rules for departments, that's also really uh, useful. So these are all the things that you can practically do and you can really customize this widget to your own branding and to your own website design. So that is really useful. But I just showed you how we can use Tidio to automate our customer support. But now it's time to use Tidio and use our Shopify chatbot to actually get more sales. So again, if we go back to chatbots, then uh, and we filter here on increase sales under templates, here we have the card booster. And for now, we're going to go with a pre-built template that Tidio already provides. So here we can click on use template and click again on use template. So this will be the card booster. And what's really great here is that if the visitor opens a specific page, so in this case, it will be the card and it will only be sent once per visitor, then we're going to send them, save 10% on this order, and they can click on get the code now. And when they click on get the code now, they will actually go to a condition. And this condition will check whether we already have someone's email. So if we already have someone's email, we're just going to send them a specific coupon code. And then we're going to say, you can use it at checkout. So that's really simple. But if we don't have someone's email, in that case, we're going to ask for their email address. So here we will say, please provide your email address below. And then we're going to ask, okay, great, would you like to stay in the loop with the latest news? And if they say sure, then we're going to subscribe them to the mailing. And if they say no, as you can see here, then we're going to give them the coupon code right away. And then here we need to add our coupon code name. So in order to do that, we need to go back to our Shopify web shop click here on exit and then here we have the discount so we can add a new discount here and it will be a amount of products it will be an amount of order so for now we'll just go with an amount of order it will be a discount code the discount code will be chatomize 1 or chatomize 10 because it's 10% discount 10% and there are pretty much no requirements to this so the start date will be now yeah that's true. And we're going to click on save discount. And then over here, we're going to copy that and we're going to paste that inside Tidio. And I think that will be it. So we're going to click on save and activate. And it's the card booster. So let's say we're going to add something to our card. So we're going to our catalog here. Click on it. Oh, we will just minimize this. We're going to add this to our card, click on view card, and now we are on the card page. 
And now Tidio will automatically say save 10% on this order. So we can click on get the code now. Then it says please provide your email address. So I just click on info at chatomize.com. Would I like to stay in the news? Sure, I would like to stay in the news. And then it says here's your code, enjoy shopping. And we can just click on this and this will be copied. And then if we go to the checkout here, we can actually apply this discount code and people will get a 10% discount. And this will highly improve the sales of your Shopify web shop. And that's it. That's how you can use your Shopify chatbot to get more sales. And there's just one thing I just wanted to show you and these are the analytics inside Tidio. So if we go to Tidio here and we go to analytics, you can actually see how many conversations were handled by our chatbot and how many conversations were handled by your live chat agents. And by looking at this data, you can actually optimize your chatbot over time. So here you can see all the conversations, uh, how many were handled, how many were missed, and how many conversations were taken over by the bot. Uh, and you can also see the first response time. Um, you can see the duration of conversations. You can see how many conversations were started by visitors and when this happened. And you can also see this per operator. Uh, you can see time trackers. You can see your leads. Uh, you can see the number of tickets that were created. And you can use all this data to actually improve your chatbot over time. And there are also just two other things that I want to show you inside Tidio is that you can also use Tidio for email. So you can also uh, connect it to your email and then handle your email customer support via Tidio. You can also use it for Facebook Messenger and also for Instagram. So if you're using Tidio for customer support, you can actually add a customer satisfaction survey after an operator has handled a conversation. And then here you can just click on automated survey and then Tidio will automatically ask how we, would you rate your experience talking to us today and then they will provide automatically these five smileys. But that's it. That's how we can create a chatbot to get more sales and automate our customer support of our Shopify web shop. And there are actually lots of different questions that you can automate. So on my website, I have an ebook with all the questions that an e-commerce company gets. So if you're looking to automate the customer support of an e-commerce company, I highly recommend looking at the link in the description. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. And as always, if you have any questions on creating your own Shopify chatbot or on using Tidio, please leave a comment below and I will reply as soon as possible.